Hello! Welcome back to my channel. So, I am Annalisa behind Faith Dream Create here on YouTube, and you usually don't see me. You usually just see me creating on my desk with my hands. And so, today I am going to be doing a craft room tour for you. Recently, just got it all clean, and I thought, hey, I need to share this. Um, so, it is not perfect. There are some places that still need to be decluttered and organized, and I would like to update them so they function better. But for now, it's working, and this is my space, and hopefully you can get some ideas how to organize your crafting things, and yeah, so let's go ahead. Alright, so when you first walk in, I have this welcome wreath that my grandma made for me, and then you walk in, and this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to take you around the room and show you the layout up close, and then we'll go ahead and walk you through it a little bit slower and a little bit more detail. And I am so sorry that it is in vertical. This would have looked a whole lot better horizontal. But I was filming on my phone, and I totally didn't realize that it would look like this for you. So, once again, I am sorry. I hope that you still enjoy this video and just get a glimpse into my space and how I create and where I create. And, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you when you first walk in, right by the light switch, there's just some artwork my son did and some whiteboards and a few decorations. And then this is a little Apple reward chart that we have. And then just behind the door here is some DVD racks and a pillow for an upcoming project that I've been thinking about doing. So in these DVD cases, these ones here are just empty. But these DVD cases here, I, this is where I store all my metal dies. So there's a magnetic sheet on the inside and they're all labeled and yeah I really love that way of storing things and then on these bookshelves here behind the curtain is all of our books so me and my husband have quite a collection of books and they are stored in here and a bunch of other storage like files and different things are on these shelves as well and I used a tension rod to allow me to put these curtains up and then I'm also able to put some little charts on there for my son. This particular one holds stickers and a few little books and that's the glimpse of it without the curtain on. And then moving on to this stool that I have in my craft space. This is a great piece that stores some activities for my son and a few little extra pens and stuff down there below and this little diaper caddy here holds all my planner stuff and then up top here on top of the bookshelf we have extra office supplies and a lot of scrapbooking memorabilia and some extra beads and such and then in these ones I have stickers and scrapbooking stuff and a lot of pictures and just keepsakes up top here on the top of this bookshelf. And then I have a high chair in the craft room for my youngest son to come in and do some activities with us and just be there while we're doing our thing. And then there's another bookshelf and this bookshelf has a tension rod as well and then another chart and we were learning about the solar system just for fun. So the big apple chart there has the solar system and I just love the look of this with the curtains. And then moving on over to this shelf, on the top here I just have some sewing projects and in these blue wooden bins I store all the cards that I've made and it's really nice because you can just flip through them and then here I have buttons and brads and some shells and in these little white boxes I hold all my clear envelopes and in there 
projects for YouTube and more sewing supplies. And just some random projects that I've worked on and some card bases, which I've already cut down. My label maker, a big punch that I picked up in Norway while I was there. And some projects that I've been working on. And that is my recycle with me storage area. And the little small things. And in there I have letters, iron on letters, and some shirts for my iron on letter projects. And I have my distress inks, my minis in these little containers. And this stuff down here is stuff I need to go through and organize or declutter. And in this purple box is a bigger crafting supplies for projects with my son. And down below in this turquoise bin is just some scrap paper, um, all my scraps. And yeah, and then we have a easel for my boys. So with the magnets and dry erase markers and just a lap desk down here. And if I go ahead and move this out of the way, there's also a chalkboard on the back, which is super nice. And then I have a lot of ribbon. <laughs> I actually got a lot of ribbon from my grandma when she stopped sewing. So that is why there's all that ribbon and my washi tape. And this is a K cup holder um organizer and that's how I store my washi tape and this is the bobbin ribbon little ribbon so I store it in there and then a little bit more washi tape up here and my shelves just decoration things that inspire me And I love this little shopping cart that stores a little bit of washi tape. And over here I have this organizer that holds 12 by 12 paper and I store my 12 by 12 papers here that I use to take photos of my cards and my projects. And then I'm able to put my stamp positioner right there as well so it's easy to grab. And there is the Ikea rack there with um, some buckets and a Stampin' Up ink storage. And then on this Ikea Roscog cart, I have just miscellaneous scrapbooking supplies mostly. On the top, there's also cardstock. And down below here is some foam stickers and stamps and my happy planner punch and then on the side there it just stores like bags and like a few other stencils that I haven't put away and then down here I have all my cardstock that's not up top there and there's fabric and some empty bins and some fabric and felt I'm so sorry this isn't like in focus but and then there's some more felt and stuff down there and then go up top here there is my stamp for the back of my card and then in this basket I store all my clear stamps and I might need to go ahead and upgrade this because it's getting kind of full and then here is my paper cutter by Exacto It's an old school one. My dad gave it to me. And then I have this really pretty lamp that I love. And then this bowl by Ray Dunn that says relax because crafting is very relaxing to me. And I just have my acrylic blocks in there and a chamois to wipe away ink and different things. And this Sizzix sidekick. And then on my desk, I have my umbrella lights and two other lights on the side. And then this light up box 
which is mom is filming YouTube right now. And this is how I film. So I have a wine rack set up on two Fox books, fake books. And that is how I store my Copic markers as well. And I put my camera in there and I film. So yeah, and then just on my desk here, I have my advanced tape glider and just various supplies. And then to store my clear stamps that are in smaller packaging, I have these picture frames from Ikea that have the stand and I just took the inside glass part which is plastic out and took a binder ring and put it in the center there and I can flip through these stamps and they are easy to access and I really like this and I have two of them right now and they just fit up there really nicely and then in this clear organizer on the top here I have my distress oxide tools so just the sponge brushes and then the makeup brushes and my go-to inks and my mini collection my my small collection of distress oxide inks I am slowly collecting them so those are the colors I have and then on the side here I have some watercolors and then my Copic markers are here and then up top there I have just some decor and face room create of course on the wall and some dry erase boards which I'm not using right now I have a different way of organizing stuff but I might still use those so they're still there and there's just some miscellaneous supplies up there and then embossing powders and this is how I store my embossing powders in these little containers and then I have a spoon to use those and then I have some cups and little decorative plates just to hold little things on my desk and then down below here it's kind of dark the light was not going so you can kind of see it I have my heat tool down there and then the white cart just some various stuff I really need to get under this desk and declutter and just organize it I really don't like this black container but it's just got stuff I don't access all the time but want to keep or need to go through and then that blue organizer holds envelopes and half pearls and all that and then on this Roscoe's IKEA cart I have some extra things for my recycling with me projects and of course my big shot machine and then in here is just some new supplies that have come in. And then this cart holds everything that I need for my big shot. So it's got all the extra accessories and then my embossing folders are in here. And those are the extra plates there. And then down below, just some miscellaneous supplies. Like I said, my craft room is not perfect. It's not completely organized. We recently just set it up, so it is not perfect. And then on here, on this desk, my divider desk, I just have a little spinning craft organizer, which is set up for my son. This is a sticker book and some activity books and I just saw some melting bead supplies and some stamps for him and some ink for him. And you spin it around. And yeah, just some extra little doodads for him. There's some stickers in there. And yes, and then there's a llama box. So it just has some activities. So more melting beads, some straws that he can play with. A cup that he can play with there and this was an activity that I had set up for him and the iron is back there so we can melt the melting beads and I have these suction cup organizers on mirrors 
and those mirrors are hot glued. So on the top here, in these very useful boxes, there's some little stamps and different things that are small, some thumbtacks, and up here is where I store my sequins and some mini stamps that are wood mounted and wood veneers. And then in these ones here on the top is various pens and tools that I use frequently and Copic marker refills. I mostly use Spectrum Noir markers, but I have a few Copics and there was some extra glue and some pens and different tools that I use somewhat often that I want to be able to reach for. And then up here, just little odds and ends and memorabilia. I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place in this purple bin or this purple book, I should say. It has die cut letters that I've cut out previously and I use these a lot when I'm scrapbooking. So it's really nice to have. And up top here is a ornament holder, I believe. I store all my tags that I've created up there. And there's my microphone. And in this gold storage, I just store little odds and ends and memorabilia and little things. And I have an e-walkie. And I have some bigger dies there. And this sign here. I really like this sign. It says, build on your dreams in the fall. And I started my YouTube channel in the fall, so I picked this up to commemorate that, and it just hangs there. And up top here in these baskets, I have some smaller dies and embossing folders. And in this white bin here, some extra watercolors and some fabric spray paint. And then the other one is my son's sticker book, which exploded because he put way too many stickers in because we love stickers. And then some little punches and some extra water brushes and a hole punch and nail polish. And then his artwork on the closet here. And then these boxes hold these baby wipe boxes, hold some markers for him, for my son Riley to use. And then in this baby wipes container, we just have some caps from food pouches to play with. And in this Hello Kitty box, is where he stores all of his melting beads that he has worked on and done and yes just a fun box <laughs> and moving those out of the way i have these shelves and they were bathroom shelves i believe but i got them on clearance at bed bath and beyond and i st store my message store little stamps, the self-inking stamps in here, and I have a bunch of them in there. They're so fun and great to use in scrapbooking. And then an empty shelf, and then down below I have my twine. And then here in the middle, I have a organizer with stickers and activities for my son, and some bingo daughters, and just some inspiration. Quick glance at that. Yes. And then we will move on to the other side here. And then I have another one of those bathroom cabinets. And you can see we have all the scissors there with the funky edges. Um, on the inside of this bathroom shelf, I have some more watercolors. And we have some finger lights that we like to use at special occasions. And um, then some extra stickers and some stamps for my son that he can use. And then down below there is just storage. This desk was starting to fall apart and it used to store all of the stamps in these Alex drawers, but it outgrew the space. So I went ahead and bought 
these drawers from Ikea and it's been great. And yes, I do have a lot of these wood mounted stamps from Michaels, but these are my go-to stamps. They have been for a long time and I love them because my son can just grab them out and play with them and I don't have to feel like they're going to get lost or anything. And then just below the desk, I have my uh, like sewing kit with different things and scrapbook paper. And yes, I have a lot of scrapbook paper. And yeah, just some other various things down below. And then we have another Alex drawer on the other side here. And that stores a bunch more wood mounted stamps from Michaels. And these are the first stamps that I started collecting when so I've got a lot, but I use them a lot, and now my son's using them, and then there's some to various projects in there, and this is where I store um, Project Life cards as well, and then down below in the last drawer is more smaller Project Life cards, and my photos for scrapbooking. And then over here on this, I just have a mobile that I made. And then our different cards that we need to keep together and some pens and office supplies. And some scrapbook paper that I want to do something with that I've pulled out of the things. And then in these here, I store the bigger dies for the Big Shot machine. And then just down below here in the filing cabinet is just our personal files. And then on the chair here, this is actually a shirt that didn't fit me anymore, but I love the pattern. So instead of getting rid of it, I just wrapped it around the back there and we have a backrest on the chair so it covers that up makes it look a lot more fun so that is going to complete the craft room tour for you today i hope you were inspired and got some ideas on how to organize your own space um this is a multi-purpose room for us it is my craft room it is where i film it is an office for my husband and it is an act activity room for my boys and it's also gonna probably end up being a homeschool room because we are planning on homeschooling at this moment so it's going to serve a lot of purposes and this space is so nice it's so nice to come in here especially when it's this clean it's not always this clean um, but yeah I if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and then you'll know if I'm doing any updates to this craft space or when my next project is going live and if you have any questions definitely comment them down below I will try my best to answer them a lot of the items that I use to organize this room are thrifted I'm trying to find things on a budget for this space and or on clearance so I will try my best to answer your questions and if there's something you're curious about So once again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.